Chapter 30. Now Moses summoned the leaders of the tribes of Israel and told them, This is what the Lord has commanded. A man who makes a vow to the Lord or makes a pledge under oath must never break it. He must do exactly what he said he would do. If a young woman makes a vow to the Lord or a pledge under oath while she is still living at her father's home, and her father hears of the vow or pledge but says nothing, then all her vows and pledges will stand. But if her father refuses to let her fulfill the vow or pledge on the day he hears of it, then all her vows and pledges will become invalid. The Lord will forgive her because her father would not let her fulfill them. Now suppose a young woman takes a vow or makes an impulsive pledge and later marries. If her husband learns of her vow or pledge and raises no objections on the day he hears of it, her vows and pledges will stand. But if her husband refuses to accept her vow or impulsive pledge on the day he hears of it, he nullifies her commitments and the Lord will forgive her. If, however, a woman is a widow or is divorced, she must fulfill all her vows and pledges no matter what. Suppose a woman is married and living in her husband's home when she makes a vow or pledge. If her husband hears of it and does nothing to stop her, her vow or pledge will stand. But if her husband refuses to accept it on the day he hears of it, her vow or pledge will be nullified, and the Lord will forgive her. So her husband may either confirm or nullify any vows or pledges she makes to deny herself. But if he says nothing on the day he hears of it, then he is agreeing to it. If he waits more than a day and then tries to nullify a vow or pledge, he will suffer the consequences of her guilt. These are the regulations the Lord gave Moses concerning relationships between a man and his wife and between a father and a young daughter who still lives at home.